This is Logan Hall with the Eastern Shore Regional GIS Cooperative. You're watching a video tutorial on how to extract from image services in ArcGIS for desktop. In this tutorial, we'll go over extracting data from image services by data frame extent, by selected features, and by feature mask. Once you have access to the Maryland LiDAR topography server, we can export a local raster dataset for processing. Note that the image services have been set up with an export size limitation of 4100 rows and columns. For larger areas of interest, feel free to download a predefined countywide DEM from the MDI map LiDAR download page. We'll zoom into our area of interest. Right-click our image service in our table of contents. Select data and export data. First thing to check, if we are within our export limitation of 4100 rows and columns, which we are. We want to make sure our data frame extent is our export extent. and then browse to our output workspace. Single click the folder and click add. Next we'll select our output format. In this case we'll use an Esri grid and rename our raster. One thing to note, if selecting an output file type of grid, the file name cannot exceed 13 characters. Double check your parameters and click save. From this point, we can remove our image service from the table of contents and begin working with a local raster data set for processing. In ArcMap, we can also extract by using a selected feature or graphic. So begin by adding our Talbot County DEM meters image service. and zoom into our area of interest. To create our selected graphic, we'll use the draw toolbar. If you do not have it added, we'll right click in the open toolbar slots and add draw. We can drag it, and pin it up top, And using the rectangle graphic or the drop down, select your shape. We'll do a freehand polygon. And using the draw tool, a single click will start the graphic. Each consecutive click will add a vertex to your polygon, double clicking to complete the shape. The graphic is selected when the handles are highlighted. We'll right click our image service in our table of contents. Select data and export data. Ensure that selected graphics is our clipping extent. And we need to make sure as before our raster size in rows and columns is within our 4100 limitation. This limitation has been set up on all image services within our LiDAR topography server. Browse to our output workspace folder. Select the folder and click add. 
select your output format. In this case, we'll use an Esri grid. And like before, if we're using an Esri grid, there's a 13 character limitation on the name. And the name cannot start with a number. Once all your parameters are set, click Save. Click Yes to add our new layer to the map. And we can turn off or remove our image service and delete our graphic. Finally, we'll use Extract by Mask to clip out an area for local processing. This tool does require the Spatial Analyst extension. So once you've added your image service, in this case we'll still be using the Talbot County DEM in meters. Go to Customize, Extensions, and ensure that your appropriate extensions have been turned on. Again, zoom into your area of interest. And since I do not currently have a feature to extract by mask, again, I'll be using the draw toolbar. I'll create my graphic. And then in the drawing dropdown of the draw toolbar, I'll convert my graphics to features. I'm going to convert a polygon graphic to a polygon shapefile. The coordinate system will match that of the data frame. I'll check to automatically delete my graphic after the conversion. And set my output workspace folder. And my naming convention, converted graphics.shp, is fine. Click Save and OK. Click yes to add the new layer to the map. And now we have a shapefile from which we can clip our image service. You can use the search icon or the arc toolbox to locate the geoprocessing tool extract by mask. I prefer to use the search bar. Our input raster will be our Talbot DEM meters image service. And our input raster or feature mask will be our converted graphics shapefile. Navigate to your output workspace folder and name your output. Again, this is going to export an Esri grid, so we need to make sure we're within that 13 character limitation. Click OK to run the tool. Once our extract by mask is complete, we can remove our image service and turn off our converted graphic layer exposing our exported raster for local processing. For additional resources, please visit imat.maryland.gov and to access your Maryland LiDAR topography server, visit lidar.geodata.md.gov forward slash imap.